keynote speaker for today is our past district governor, Bill Lewis. You can see him sitting behind me, <laughs> gluing cotton balls onto his face. When asked to recreate one of his heroes, Bill had a bit of an epiphany. As Bill puts it, it doesn't seem fair to call someone a hero if you've never met them, never worked with them, never shared life's concerns with them. So Bill chose someone he admires for what this person has shared with Bill. Right after his year as district governor was complete, Occupy Wall Street and a thousand clones popped up across the country. Bill was giving a speech at the Federal Reserve Bank in downtown Boston. Afterward, he walked across the street and talked to the people at Occupy Boston. Now I know why there's so long introduction. <laughs> I realized that these people were saying all the same things I've been saying for years. But I just sat around and, and groused to my friends these people are getting international attention, so I stayed. And that is all that Bill has done for the past four years, travel, meet people, and talk about democracy. He has spent time in Florida, Virginia, Arizona, Washington, Michigan, Tennessee, Utah, Wisconsin, and all over Massachusetts, attending conferences and trainings and actions and visiting Toastmasters clubs, always talking about the same thing, how much democracy we have lost and how important it is for all for all of us to fight for our rights as citizens. When people fight for their rights, there is always resistance from those who profit off of other people's oppressions. Direct confrontation is dangerous for protesters. Mocking oppression, however, is often a safer and more effective way of facing oppression. So I'd like to introduce Bill's hero, the only, the only eight-time candidate for president of the United States, the only man with a clear understanding of the vital importance of dental hygiene for national security. The only man who sees the value of time travel research, the only candidate who wears a boot on his head, please help me welcome Vermin Supreme. Thank you, Greg, and thank you, fellow Americans. I am here because I am a presidential candidate. I want to build the country that we all want. Let me assure you, with my basic policies, dental hygiene, a constitutional amendment to require toothbrushing. Free ponies for everyone. When we have pony equality with human beings, we will be able to build a pony-based economy. Think how wonderful that will be. And for our concerns about our energy problems, zombie power. Yes, we will harness the power of the undead to run our generators so that we have, have clean, green energy in the purest form of the sense of green energy. And finally, I'm glad to announce time travel research. The wonderful thing about time travel research is when we get it, it doesn't matter when we get it, we just get it. <laughs> Let me tell you about my policy for dental hygiene. Our country has been attacked by a huge problem. It's called gingivitis. And we, Americans, must go out and we must take a bite out of this terrible disease. We must bridge over the gaps that exist in our health care system and we must ensure that all Americans have good, proper dental hygiene. Now, some people may tell you this is actually a secret because we are having the dental hygiene police breaking down your doors at 3 a.m. to ensure that you are brushing. But let me sure that is not a problem. Some people will be upset that we have dental hygiene re-induct education centers where people who are insufficient in their hygiene requirements will be forced to relearn how to take care of their teeth. Although this is not a and finally, some people are concerned about the government-issued toothpaste with a little bit of <clears throat> very harmless but very addictive additives. These are not the problems. We are looking for a strong America with strong teeth, and we can produce it. Ladies and gentlemen, a vote for Berman Supreme is a vote like no other vote you could possibly cast. Because I, with a pony-based economy, ponies, we will pony for every American. We will soon be able to have pony banks. We will have pony credit cards. We will have pony debt. And finally, we will be able to create pony credit debt swaps 
imagine how wonderful our country will be when we have pony credit debt swaps. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, we must focus on what is important for our country. Dental hygiene, time travel research, and of course, zombie power. So, <laughs> let me hear your enthusiasm. <clears throat> When I say zombie, you say power. Zombie. Power. Zombie. Power. When I say time travel, you say research. Time travel. Research. Time travel. Research. research. Pony. Power. Time travel. Research. Pony. Power. Time travel. Research. When I say free, you say ponies. Free. Pony. Free. Pony. Time travel. Research. Time travel. Research. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, remember when you go to the polls on November 4th, I can be your choice. A vote for Vermin Supreme is a vote which is cast away for no purpose whatsoever. So, this is your opportunity. Vote for Vermin Supreme, President of America. <laughs> and so, my friend Vermin Supreme, who has better whiskers than I do. Actually, the real character, he's run, run for president since 1988, and he uses these props to mock our real politics. The thing is that I admire about him so much is not so much his antics here, but when we are on the streets, he is there with us. And so we were down in Tampa, and I'm not sure if you know our my fellow Americans know him as the Westboro Baptist Church. Uh, uh, they have been protesting everything they could possibly protest. They're very concerned about uh, the gay, uh, gays in the army. They think the entire army is turning gay, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when we are confronting people like this, it is very, very intense. And to have Vermin Supreme be there and a megaphone in his laughing and telling stories and calming things down. It's really important to be calm when you're in intense situations. How many people have ever seen the turtles? How many people know what a turtle is? So, a turtle is, the cops call them themselves turtles, a cop dressed in full armor, shield, baton, leg armor, back armor, these are the turtles, and they, when they come in, they do a pretty frightening thing. And as a peaceful protester, you see these people coming after you. And it's so much better to have someone like Herman Supreme keeping things light, because in a tense situation, he's talking, because he can talk to them in ways we can. And he can make things funny and relaxed. And the same body can save people. So I want a better nation. And people like Vermin Supreme make it possible for us to go out and build that nation again. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the next President of the United States, Vermin Supreme.